What's going on guys? Bar two guys gaming here today. Uh I'm doing a video that was requested. I told uh people in my last video that I would make a tutorial on how to do how to mod Call of Duty World at War for PC if we got one like and we got one like, we got more than one like, so uh I'm gonna go ahead and show you the tutorial. So probably came here from this video. Um first you just wanna click on the link for the download, so I'm gonna be doing Call of Duty World at War Cobra version 1. You want to click on the link, wait 5 seconds. 3, 2, 1. And wait 5 seconds and skip ad. Some uh, mods are different. Some mods are different. So you might have to, like multiplayer mods, you have to put them in your actual mods folder in the Call of Duty World at War. That'll be for another tutorial. This one's for zombies. So. Even some zombie ones you have to put in your mods folder, but uh, not for Cobra version 1. Usually they're this type of mods, so you just want to download the file. <coughs> I'll download it just so you guys can see. Even though I've already downloaded it. And then uh, I'll be back when it's finished downloading. Alright guys, I'm back, so it's pretty much done. It's uh, 51 out of 54 megabytes. It's a pretty small file. Uh, it's not too large, so yeah, that's good. Now, after that, you just want to drag it to your desktop. Go into your downloads folder, wherever you downloaded it to, and move it to your desktop. And then you want to right-click it and extract Cobra version 1 World at War mod menu. You need WinRAR to do this. If you don't have it, then uh, the link for WinRAR will be in the description. You just want to download it. Now after you've extracted it, you don't need this anymore. You just need this file. Inside of the file, you should see a Cobra version 1 World at War mod menu. Just uh, drag that out. That's all you need. So, we have Cobra version 1 World at War mod menu. And as you can see, it came with a clean common file for World at War and Cobra version 1. Now just in case you mess up, I included a clean common file. Uh, so that, uh, you know, it's just a copy in case you accidentally mess up something and delete your common file for just some random reason. Then you have an unmodified common file. You can put that away for now. And next thing you want to do is actually go to where uh, you had downloaded Call of Duty World at War. So I downloaded it in my uh, D drive. Open it up. Now you should see a bunch of stuff. Call of Duty World at War, Docs, Main, Mods. You want to find the word, the folder that says Zone. You want to open that up, double click on English, and then you should see a bunch of .ff files in here. That's good. Now, you're going to find one that says common.ff. Uh, that's where we're going to be putting this. You want to go into Kerber version 1, drag the common.ff file, copy to English, and then you should get a box that says uh, the destination already has a file named common.ff. Replace the file in the destination. And then you're pretty much done. All you need to do now is open up Call of Duty World at War. And then once you've opened it, since it is a common.ff mod, you don't need to go into mods and uh, launch it like other mods like Project X and Programmer V2. Don't need to do that, you just need to go to Darice is the only one that Cobra version 1 works on, but a lot of other ones work on any map, so that's good. But Cobra version 1 is a really nice mod menu. It's really nice and neat and I really like it. So like I said, uh the video for Cobra version 1, where you probably got the download from, uh the controls are in the description. So yeah, you can go ahead and get a mod you want, download it, uh, use it, and have fun with it. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.